empowering your financial journey. Hey there, future financial moguls. Ever wondered how the wealthiest individuals seem to effortlessly turn debt into a powerful wealth building tool? Well, you're in for a treat because today we're diving into a topic that's been a game changer for the money savvy elite. Welcome to Money Matters, and I'm thrilled to reveal the secrets behind 5 ways rich people make money with debt. Before you start picturing stacks of cash and complicated financial jargon, let me assure you, we're breaking this down in the simplest way possible. We're talking about strategies that even a beginner can understand and potentially use to transform their financial landscape. So, let's get right into it. Today, we're going to unveil the playbook of the wealthy, where debt isn't a burden but a strategic tool for financial growth. We'll be exploring five brilliant strategies that have propelled countless individuals into the realm of prosperity. From strategic real estate investments to shrewd business expansions, we've got it all covered. Stick around because by the end of this video, you'll have a whole new perspective on how to leverage debt for financial success. So, without further ado, let's jump into the first strategy that rich people use to make money with debt. Absolutely. Let's dive into the first strategy, strategic real estate investments. Alright, let's kick things off with a strategy that's been a cornerstone of wealth building for centuries, strategic real estate investments. You see, for many wealthy individuals, real estate isn't just about having a place to call home. It's about making their money work for them in the most brilliant way. So, how do they do it? Well, they leverage debt in a smart and calculated manner. Instead of buying properties outright, they use a combination of their own capital and loans to acquire real estate assets. This allows them to spread their investments across multiple properties, maximizing their potential for returns. One of the key moves in this playbook is the art of leveraging rental properties and commercial real estate. Picture this, owning a few rental units or a bustling commercial space. The rental income generated from tenants covers not only the mortgage but also leaves you with a tidy profit. This means your properties are not only appreciating in value over time but also generating a steady stream of income. It's like having your cake and eating it too. And the best part? As the property appreciates, it increases your net worth, creating a snowball effect for your investments. Now, let's talk about some real-world success stories. Take a look at individuals like Donald Bren, one of the most successful real estate developers in the United States. He didn't start with billions, he strategically used debt to build his empire, focusing on high-value properties in prime locations. Then there's Barbara Corcoran, a familiar face from Shark Tank. She made her mark in the real estate world by leveraging debt to start the Corcoran Group, a powerhouse in New York's real estate market. These are just a couple of examples of how savvy investors have turned real estate into a wealth building machine. So, whether you're eyeing that duplex down the street or considering a stake in a commercial complex, remember, it's not just about owning property. It's about owning property smartly, and that often means making debt your ally in this game of wealth creation. Let's move on to the next strategy, business expansion and acquisitions. Now, let's shift our focus to a strategy that's propelled countless individuals to astronomical success, business expansion and acquisitions. You'll find that many of the world's wealthiest individuals haven't just stopped at one venture. They've strategically used debt to fuel the growth of their businesses. Imagine this, you have a thriving enterprise, and you're eyeing opportunities for growth, Instead of waiting for profits to accumulate, these savvy entrepreneurs utilize loans to fund mergers, acquisitions, and even launch new ventures. This approach allows them to fast-track their expansion plans and tap into new markets, often reaping substantial rewards in the process. Let's break it down a bit further. When we talk about leveraging loans, we're not talking about reckless spending. It's about making calculated moves identifying strategic opportunities, and using borrowed capital to unlock new levels of growth. Whether it's acquiring a competitor to solidify market dominance or launching a new product line, debt becomes a catalyst for progress. Consider the story of Richard Branson, the visionary behind the Virgin Group. His audacious move into the airline industry, creating Virgin Atlantic, was powered by strategic debt utilization. 
This bold expansion not only revolutionized the industry but also catapulted Branson into the ranks of the world's most influential entrepreneurs. And let's not forget the tech titan, Jeff Bezos. His calculated use of debt played a pivotal role in the expansion and innovation of Amazon, turning it into the e-commerce giant we know today. By leveraging loans, Bezos transformed a humble online bookstore into a global powerhouse. These case studies highlight the power of using debt as a strategic tool in the world of business. It's not about being debt-free, it's about being debt-smart. By doing so, you position yourself to seize opportunities that can lead to exponential growth and, ultimately, financial prosperity. Let's delve into the next strategy, stock market and investment loans. Alright, hold on to your hats because we're about to explore a strategy that's like turbocharging your investments, stock market and investment loans. This is where the savvy elite take their financial game to the next level. They understand the art of margin trading. So, what's margin trading? It's essentially borrowing money from a brokerage to buy more stock than you could with your own funds. It's like having an extra boost of capital to invest in the market. Now, how do the wealthy make this work for them? They use these loans to finance larger positions in stocks, aiming for higher returns. Picture this, you spot a golden opportunity in the stock market, but you want to maximize your investment potential. Instead of using just your own funds, you leverage a loan to amplify your buying power. This means you can invest in more shares, potentially magnifying your profits if the market moves in your favor. Now, I must emphasize, this strategy isn't without risk. The market can be as unpredictable as a roller coaster ride. So, it's crucial to have a solid understanding of the risks involved and a well thought out strategy. Let me share a couple of inspiring success stories to illustrate the potential of this strategy. George Soros, a legendary investor, famously used margin trading to make a fortune in the 1990s. His shrewd moves in the currency markets earn him a place in financial history. And then there's Paul Tudor Jones, a hedge fund titan. He's known for his astute use of leverage to capitalize on market trends. His well-timed investments using margin trading have consistently placed him among the most successful investors of our time. These individuals didn't just throw caution to the wind, they understood the risks and leveraged them to their advantage. Remember, with great power comes great responsibility, and the same goes for margin trading. When used wisely, it can be a potent tool in building wealth. So, if you're considering this strategy, be sure to do your homework and approach it with a well-informed and calculated mindset. Let's move on to the next strategy, high-yield investment opportunities. Now, get ready to explore a realm where the financial wizards play for some serious gains, high-yield investment opportunities. This is where the wealthy venture into alternative investments that can bring substantial returns. We're talking about avenues like private equity, venture capital, and hedge funds. These aren't your everyday investments, but they're packed with potential. So, how do the affluent make the most of these opportunities? They understand the power of using debt strategically. By taking on loans, they gain access to exclusive investment vehicles that may have been out of reach otherwise. It's like having a VIP pass to a world of high yield potential. Picture this. You have the chance to invest in a startup with groundbreaking potential or perhaps a private equity fund with a track record of stellar returns. Instead of limiting yourself to just your own capital, you leverage debt to seize these opportunities. This can amplify your potential for wealth creation. Let me share a couple of eye-opening examples. Warren Buffett, known as the Oracle of Omaha, is a prime example of how strategic use of debt can lead to staggering returns. He's been a keen investor in private equity deals, utilizing debt to access high potential companies. Then there's Peter Thiel, the co-founder of PayPal. He's renowned for his early investments in companies like Facebook through his venture capital fund. Thiel's calculated use of debt allowed him to jump on these opportunities, resulting in astronomical returns. These individuals understood that to access the highest echelons of returns, they needed to use debt smartly. So, whether it's venture capital, private equity, or hedge funds, remember that with great opportunities come calculated risks. 
always do your due diligence and consider seeking professional advice when delving into these high-yield investment avenues. Let's explore the final strategy, creating passive income streams. All right, get ready for a game-changing strategy that's all about setting up a financial engine that runs on its own. Creating passive income streams. This is where the wise use of debt takes center stage. Instead of relying solely on your day-to-day -day efforts, you leverage loans to acquire income-generating assets. Now, let's talk about the nitty-gritty. There are a few key avenues where the wealthy direct their focus. First up, we have dividend-paying stocks. These are shares in companies that reward their investors with a portion of their profits. By strategically using debt to invest in these stocks, you can build a portfolio that generates a steady stream of income. Next on the list are bonds, which are essentially loans you provide to governments or corporations in exchange for regular interest payments. Again, using debt to build a diversified bond portfolio can create a reliable source of passive income. And let's not forget about income generating properties. This could be residential real estate, commercial spaces, or even vacation rentals. By using loans to acquire these assets, you can generate rental income that flows in like clockwork. Now, let me share some real-life success stories to illustrate the power of passive income. Take a look at Robert Kiyosaki, the author of Rich Dad Poor Dad. He's a staunch advocate of using debt to acquire income-generating assets. His real estate investments, fueled by strategic use of debt, have propelled him to financial freedom. And then there's the legendary investor, Ray Dalio. He's known for his savvy approach to building wealth through a diversified portfolio, including income-generating assets. His strategic use of debt has been a cornerstone of his financial success. These examples show that with a well-thought-out strategy, you can create a reliable stream of passive income that can provide financial security and freedom. So, if you're looking to set up your own financial engine, consider how strategic use of debt can help you on your journey to financial prosperity. So there you have it, folks. We've uncovered the five powerful strategies that rich individuals use to make money with debt. From strategic real estate investments to high-yield opportunities and creating passive income streams. It's clear that when used wisely, debt can be a formidable tool in building wealth. But remember, with great financial power comes great responsibility. Responsible financial management and thorough risk assessment are the keys to success in any of these strategies. Always do your due diligence and seek professional advice when needed. Now, I want to hear from you. Which of these strategies resonates with you the most? Do you have any questions or experiences to share? Drop them in the comments below, and let's keep this conversation going. Don't forget to hit that like button if you found this video valuable and share it with anyone who could benefit from these insights. And if you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our latest content. A massive thank you for tuning in today. Your support means the world to us. If you want more insightful content on wealth building strategies, be sure to explore our channel. And remember, your engagement is what keeps this community thriving, so don't hesitate to like, comment, and share. Until next time, remember to invest wisely, stay financially savvy, and I'll catch you in the next video.